So it's just a one you cook if you did it. Oh, uh, hot dogs, um, maybe, um, fancy using this cauliflower, what do you think? Um, it's alright. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Where's that knife gone? Steady on there. Human, not much fat on him, but let's just see how much we can get off. <laughs> Sorry to stab you in the back, Tim. Okay, you're on. Guess who's back? For a one off only. Whatever. Tim's already going on at me. That's right, it's me, Chester Brown, the one that only back for a potential kickstart to season two of, that's right, the wonderful Heaven's Kitchen. This is the cauliflower. Now, I'm not going to say we've got anything special on the menu today. I'll be back in a second. That's right. Ignore the cauliflower. We're having plastic bag. Wrapping paper, and to finish it off, more wrapping paper. Yum, yum, yum! No, seriously, we're having hot dogs. I know, it's so special, isn't it? What, what I can do, <laughs> what I can do with cooking. Now, that, that, that's, I have to find my way around the kitchen again. It's been so long since I've been here. Quite a long time. This is certainly a first of the calendar year of 2015. It's like all of you people who don't watch our videos, these videos, couldn't have waited longer. And it's saying all the millions of you non-existent people out there who watch this se watch series one are going to be so happy that series two is back. I can just tell. And of course, as always, behind the camera is the man who runs the show. Say hi. Hi. In his ever so. Yeah. Whilst this kettle's boiling, now I'm going to get a drink. That ain't part of the kitchen. I'm going to get a drink of alcohol because I, I've decided to take a new spin. I realise I'm not in the frame. I've decided I'm. I've decided I'm going to take a new spin on this season of Heaven's Kitchen. Kind of like being drunk in that. So excuse me one sec. Me, you prefer to you prefer to drink your martini by the glass. When I say martini, I mean strong whiskey. Well, woo, and that is strong. Woo, that was a bad idea. So, as I continue to speak. Now that I've got just a little bit of whiskey inside me. Yeah. That I started drinking recently and that was my idea for this season. This makes it so much more interesting if the person who's like here where I am, like me, is going to be a bit tipsy, or let's just say full on drunk. And if I have to vomit, there's a sink and a bin, and failing that, there's Tim. He's fine with cleaning sick off himself, I'm sure. He worked at George Street McDonald's for two and a half years or something. So, I'm just going to get another drink, because some people say that if you have enough alcohol you get drunk and if you have the same amount as you said before had before then it's like two rights make a wrong sorry two wrongs make a right I think so I'm gonna have more of my whiskey I was gonna say scotch I think that's the same thing it's 
tell me in the comments if scotch and whiskey are the same thing. So here's more now. Woo! That actually worked. So, it's good to be back here in Heaven's Kitchen. I can't believe that actually works. Probably not going to take another sip because I'll go back and be drunk again. But I suppose if I continue to balance it out, it should be fine. So, we've got bread today. Again, ignore the college back. We've got Frankfurt's Finn. And we have Delhi Seafood Coles Helping Australia Grow Kransky. Kransky, as they call it. So first of all, like the Texas panhandle, we're putting water in the pan. Mm. Obviously, at some point, I'm going to have to ask Tim to come into the studio to um, make his dinner, mm. because for some reason that weirdo sitting behind the camera doesn't eat sausages with bread, but eats sausages on their own. But when it's with bread, apparently, something in his brain tells him it doesn't work. Maybe, oh, no. I, maybe if I put this mine on, it will make it better. It's your dinner, Tim, not mine. I basically openly refuse to cook the Tim part of the dinner because it's just so weird sometimes. He might as well do it himself. Plus, he's lazy anyway, so it gets him a chance to have some, if you call it, exercise. Because they can still see you. I'm aware of that. And I'm also aware I haven't put the stove on. Because mm -hmm. you can basically see from the, fo the phone box all the way to basically the corner. Fancy when the corner in the fridge. Let's actually put the stove on this time. Mm -hmm. I can't see crap. Mm -hmm. Can't see the stove. Yes, this is this one. Come on. open and wash my hands. <laughs> yeah. So, things that are use this time to um, expand on what's been going on in my life since we last chatted. Chatted? Chatted? Chat? I don't know. Funnily enough, you think English would be my good thing. Well, that is my first language, not mine. Oh, crap. Crap no laugh. Oh, yeah. I can't count. One, two, three, four, six. Two, three, four, five, smash back, six. So, whilst those sausages are cooking, I will tell you about my life and all the amazing, interesting things that have been going on in it since we last spoke in this kitchen. Um, my soccer team joined the league. We're doing well, we've got a game tomorrow. Um, I went out clubbing on Saturday night. That was fun. I, I passed my one shot maximum. <laughs> I passed my one drink maximum one night only. Um, hmm, what else? Um, I've written a few more songs. Uh, how about this? Tim, you tell them what's been going on in your life since we last filmed. Nothing much. Applying for jobs. Yes, keep telling them about that. Waiting it's for very replies. interesting, that. Huh? Waiting for replies. You can keep telling them. You can, you can tell them about your job. Well, I, I was working there, well, I actually not working, because otherwise I wouldn't have been filming. Yeah, of course, that's the obvious reason I haven't been filming. Because I got a job at, um, where was it? Woolworths. <laughs> I forgot from it. Where I work. Yes. And the deli. 
So I know all about this stuff, like sausages and that, and I know that you have to fry or boil cran fry cran ski. Yes, I know that. I know that. I, I so know that. And whilst those are cooking, and I'm going to continue talking. I'm going to get a, a friend on the line for no reason, not not at all. There is no reason I'm calling my friend who also works on the deli with me and knows I've actually tried stuff like this and actually knows how this stuff is meant to be cooked. Um, no, that's not the reason. I'm just calling him to say hi, you know, give him a shout out in case he ever comes across this video. Nick Ireland. It'd be funny if he called me after I said that. Where are you, Nick? So yeah, as I said before, I'm just I'm just calling him, you know, because I'm obviously being the host of Heaven's Kitchen, I know how to cook everything, so there's no good need for me to call my friends or ask him how to how to cook Kransky. I mean I'm just calling him to say hi. Yeah. Just calling him to say hi. And I'll tell him a bit about the Kransky, but I know how to cook it, so I'm just calling him how to say hi. How to say hi to say hi. The phone's ringing. <laughs> I'm just going to go to the bathroom for one second. Tim is going to entertain the crowd and I am totally not going upstairs to research how to cook two Kransky sausages. <laughs> I'm back from my bathroom break and I had a big think in there and I decided, although usually I would fry the Kransky, I decided to say, hey, I'll boil them because it's a bit different, you know? Move to him. So once these are done, which I think they are, move. I will shove on the Kransky into that water. Uh, What's the massacred sausage, Tim? You can have it. Hold your hand out. Have you forgotten something? Yes, it's not again right now. There's up there. More. An ingredient in the fridge. Well, I'll do that also. I still want to put my hands in. And the and the barked beans. You know what it is? This is cheese.
gold balls. I really love this apple, I mean whiskey. What a great idea, why did I mean, why did I call it whiskey? I'm an idiot, it's clearly cider. What to talk about? I thought I was doing like stand-up comedy routines. But my materials run a bit dry recently. Kind of like Wahi and his excessive wanking. So, sausage is a, the Poles know how to do it, big fat Kransky sausages, perfect conditions for, perfect conditions for bountiful amounts of sexual innuendo, sausage, meaty, Chunky. I'm basically dropping ad libs here for people perverts who watch this video. <laughs> and Tim's friends with a lot of perverts, so you can see why that would happen. <laughs> hey, my name's so and so from America. I'm like some guy who like oh no 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 what's the name of that weird guy with the, like the naked photos on Facebook? I can't remember. Oh god, yes. Oh my god, this steam! Oi, come back, I need you. Alright. Cut the things open. What thing? Uh, your hand, Tim, what do you think? <laughs> no, it just speeds up the process. Yes, boss. I'll need. And cut them open properly, not the way you do it. Yeah, that's how you do it properly. Alright, fine. Haven't you ever got it up properly? I've got the special bread knife here. Hmm? I've got the bread knife. Oh. I've got ten. I don't think we're going to need all ten, Tim. <laughs> Let's see. One of those for me, one of those for your mum. Plus, there's, there's six in here, so there'll be one for your brother, one for your dad. And then like one for me, one for your mum, and then probably two left over, one of which is massacred. So yeah, just give me two each. Just avoid confusion. You want six? Yeah, six. So. There's five there, Tim. If there was ten when you counted them first, how many would there be in each line, Tim? So I do know what two times five is. Just yeah, but you have to count it out. Well, it's not for you. I love me a bit of cider, I do. Just when I'm cooking my hot dogs in Kransky, I love having a bit of cider to wash it down with. Sounds like I'm doing like some advertisement for the cider company. <laughs> drink Farmer Ted's, drink Farmer Ted's Devonshire cider today. It'll get you going for the morning. It is real cider, Tim. What the fuck are you on about? I mean, what what are you on about? I mean, the, the bread. Well, part of it sounds like it could be. No, I need plates. Why am I going into the fridge for plates? Yeah, I've been in the plates in the fridge in there. Shifts if it's going to be that crap at doing its job. Why's the water going to turn brown? 
I don't even know when these are cooked. Okay. So, it said, I mean, I mean, um, I said to myself when I was in the bathroom that they'd take five to six minutes. At first, at first I said ten, but then I, I thought about it and I had to remind, and I had to correct myself and say six. See, like when I when I said ten, I was like a chef who had a boss from. So, I mean, when I said ten. Yeah, I was being stupid. I say whack the heat up and I gingerly turn it. <laughs> so, just to reiterate, <coughs> those of you who may be excited for season two of Hammer's Kitchen, don't get your hopes up because it will be few and far between I upload it episodes because I'm so busy what with work and other stuff. That's why I never really have time to cook anymore. Well, I know this family miss my cooking, so I'll do it as often as I can. For entertainment value, of course. Let's go one on one with the camera, like an interview. Like it's an interview for a show. So tell us a little. So tell us a little bit about yourself, sir. Hi, my name's Chester Brown, and I'm really interested in having this show idea of mine, Heaven's Kitchen, as an idea for an upcoming TV show. And um, have you got any plans for investment and uh, business plans? Yeah, I was hoping you didn't ask me that because I don't. I mean, this is only for YouTube right now. I see, so you're gonna have to go. Really? I'm not looking at the camera. It looks weird. Boo! Made you flinch. I'm not good with jump scares. But no one watches these videos apart from me, so I'm probably gonna fall prey to my own jump scare. Whatever. Let's just do an interview. How are you doing? Good. Me? I'm doing fine. Yeah, this ain't working. I'm gonna return to the kitchen. back in the kitchen and I'm going to test these Kransky out. Should really been keeping time. Take them out when it goes 640. In four minutes, pretty much. Ow! Oh, Tim's back. <coughs> Is it time to end? Not yet, Kranzky, I'm done. They'll be done in about three minutes. 
pull the chair out and sit in front of the camera team. It's your turn to have an interview. It's about what's going to happen to the future of Heaven's Kitchen. No, I said pull the chair out the front. You pretend this is good. How about actually sitting down? No, use, one, use that chair there, because then you'll level with the camera. The knees are the same size. No, no, I'll put it out there at the front. You know how like you're right in front of the camera like it's a proper interview? All right, you're sitting on your side. This is why you fail so many job interviews. You're well off centre as well. You have to lean down. Now you're slouching in your chair. Now I can see why you fail at interviews, Tim. Okay? If that's what you are, posture wise, half paying attention. Let's pretend this is a job interview. So I'll go behind the camera so people can't see me. Because otherwise it would be weird. They would be asking. Hello. Hi. So, um, what made you in? What made you interested in this job, sir? Um, just the, the weird the location, the pay, it's something you do to get out of the house. I see. And um, have you had any previous experience in this line of work before, sir? Uh, I've done this line of work, but I had two years at McDonald's. Yeah, and um. Have you had any tricky customer service experiences before? Yeah, once I had a grumpy customer saying I gave him incorrect change, but I didn't give him the incorrect change, but the manager caved in in the end. Oh, mate, I see. And um, um, what are your availabilities like, mate? All the time. Yes, so if I was to call you at midnight on like a Thursday night, you would be available to work, yes? Yes. I see. And um, sir, if um, if there is a shortage of staff and you are busy, would it be able to contact you in public holidays to need you to work for us? Yes. I see. And um, say for example, we had like staff, staff promotions on and stuff like that. Would you be able to help contribute to the staff and the team in a working friendly environment? Yes. I see. And uh, so, um, there's just one more question I'd like to ask you. How old are you, sir? 21. Just checking. Thank you and welcome aboard. Okay. Now, these crimes you're probably done. Ooh, it's like, it's like oil. Well, oh. <laughs> Well, they are done or they're not. I don't know. I thought oil was all gold. I mean, the bottom. I think you put the, the frame fits in the hot dog rolls. Yes, I'm getting there. Hang on. We've only got one on each plate. Hang on. How come there's only one? On oh, eight, Tim. Two each. What's four times two? Yeah, but you've only got six frame cuts. That's why you've got six. No, no, no. Yeah, no, yeah. Two for your dad, two for your brother, one for me, one for your mum. And then me and mum will also have... Oh my god. <laughs> Plus the two Kransky. Four times two. Everyone, Tim has a vulnerability in simple mouth. <laughs> Get that shit away from me. <laughs> they just have the fact that they're giving vague instructions. Like, they look like red penises like popping out of 
Great pajamas. <laughs> Put the other one in mine. I'm just going to put it to the side of my plate. Mine. Have fun with that. To be honest. <laughs> Tim is finishing off being cheesy. <laughs> he's giving me a he's giving me a shredded look right now. And he probably wants to tell me in a minute to bag it up. <laughs> you all miss my puns. Anyway, that was good for the first episode of what may potentially become season two of Heaven's Kitchen, but don't, um, don't hold me to anything yet. Probably just a one-off. I'm sorry the quality of food was once again lackluster, if anything, but this ain't about cooking, even though it's called Heaven's Kitchen. It's kind of a misleading title I'm going to feel. It's more about comedy. Not really. It's just kind of random, really, isn't it? That's really what it is at the end of the day. So yeah, without much further ado, whatever. <laughs> yeah, bye in a minute. I Cheers for watching. If you actually did watch, then yeah. <laughs> this has been, let's just call it, season two, episode one of Heaven's Kitchen. Take care, people, and I'll see you probably in about five months for the next episode. Bye.